Hi there. Today's project is to replace the last of the incandescent lights which we have on a canopy of our bed with some RGB fairy lights and WLED and an ESP controller. All of this will be integrated into my Apple Home Smart Home for sunset and nighttime scenes. Let's get at it. Here is what we need to do today's project to install the fairy lights on the master bedroom canopy. We have 32 feet of the fairy lights from BTF lighting. It's the WS2812B. We have the pigtail that came with that. The pigtail is going to be installed on the ESP8266 board D1 Mini. We'll also install this on there. Then the micro USB cable and power block will be plugged into the other end of the D1 Mini. Then we'll install, put this inside the little project box and wrap it up nice and neat. And that should get us going into the project for today. As far as tools go today, all we're going to need is a soldering iron, little helping hands to hold things together, some solder, and some solder flux. Let's get at it. First, let's put a little uh, flux right there, each of those little dots. So the red one goes to the 5 volt. The outside silver one goes to the ground. Then the center wire is the data wire, goes to the D4. Okay, there we have it all wired together. You can see the wires like that. So we have the red going to the five volt, the outside silver one going to the ground, and the center data one going to the D4 pin there. Next step is we are going to go install WLED on this and get that all set up. First, make sure you're using a data cable to connect a micro USB to the D1 mini to your computer. Then go to install WLED.me. Select the latest version, plane, and select install. Select the serial port that's connected to your computer and connect. Install WLED, click the install button, and this takes a few moments. Once it's done installing, click next. And now it's time to configure the Wi-Fi. So enter your Wi-Fi and your Wi-Fi password. Click Connect. Click Visit Device. Notice the IP address. Make note of that. I actually go into my mesh Wi-Fi and add that as a DHCP reservation. Go into User Interface change the server description to match the name of the device. In my case, it's going to be WLED Canopy. Click Save. Go into Wi-Fi Setup and change the MDNS name to something that's obvious to you. In my case, I'm going to change it to WLED-Canopy. Save and Connect. That's about it for now. That's all the basic configuration we need in WLED. Let's go back out to the shop and plug it in. Now we have WLED installed on here and partially configured. We're going to go ahead and plug it in to the wall outlet over here. And we do get a blue light. That's a good sign. So let's go ahead and plug it into here. Once we plug it in here, we should get at least the first 30 lights to light up, which we immediately do, although I can see that they're not orange, so that means we've got the 
RGB backwards inside the software. So we'll just go into the WLED on the phone app and configure that so that it's 100 pixels and it's probably GRB is my guess. Go into WLED native and then pull down to refresh to find the new instance. Find the new instance and click on it. Click on config, go into WLED preferences, scroll down, change the length from 30 to 100, and change the color from GRB to RGB. Click save. That's all the basic WLED configuration we need for now. Next, we're gonna go in and create some presets. I went ahead and created a few presets, but we're only gonna use the first five here in our Apple Home configuration, and primarily going to use the sunset and bedtime presets. In order to get this to work with our Apple Home Smart Home, we're gonna to have to use our HomeBridge interface. We're gonna go into HomeBridge, and we're going to update the simple WLED configuration. Go to Plugins, scroll down to Simple WLED, click on Plugin Config, open Config Editor, scroll down to the WLED section, scroll down and I found one that I had that was similar so I'm going to copy that one and insert a new section. Just copy that, insert a new line, paste it. And then I'm going to go up and just change the name from WLED Lampstand to WLED Canopy and change the IP address. Then scroll up and click Save. Restart HomeBridge. And success. Next, go on to Apple Home, click the plus button, add accessory, go into more options. Find the WLED canopy light. Put in the setup code, which is basically the Homebridge setup code. And click continue. Connecting, select a room. In my case, it's the master bedroom. Click continue. I'm gonna rename this just to WLED canopy. I'm not gonna add automations at this point. Click done. Now go into the master bedroom. Scroll down and we can see that we have the WLED canopy light along with a preset in there. The five presets that we set up over in HomeBridge. These are now functional in Apple Home so we can set scenes and automations around them. Next, I'm going to add this to two nighttime automations. One of them is my sunset automation. In my sunset automation, I have a sundown scene with all the accessories I want to control. And here's where we're gonna add the WLED canopy. Scroll down to the master bedroom, select WLED canopy. And now you have that added. Select presets, because it brings over two accessories. One is the canopy light, one is the preset and select preset one, which is our sundown scene. Do the same thing for our 9 p.m. automation, which is our bedtime scene, except select preset number two for our bedtime scene. And there you have it. Now we have our sundown scene that runs at sunset and turns on our new RGB fairy lights to the blue setting that matches our other scene lights. And at 9 p.m., I have another automation that runs the nighttime scene as we get ready for bed. I hope you found some value in this video, and if you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Please share your thoughts in the comments area of any cool automations you might have done, or if you have any questions, I'm pretty quick to respond. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed day.